Hi YouTube, just a quick video. Uh, what do I want to talk about? <laughs> okay, first of all, I have been away. Uh, I could no longer. Uh, I know I said you know in the previous video that I was moving. So yes, I was moving. I don't have my internet as of yet. I haven't connected everything together, so I have to call. And get internet at this new place, y'all. Look at this. I'm not sweating. Yes, the AC works, y'all. That Texas heat is not killing me. But I have been recording in my absence. And I'm trying to edit everything out. I did this crochet wig that I'm wearing. I just did this. I have to recurl it. Because I didn't let it dry all the way. But, uh. I'm trying to get used to this big hair. Because I'm trying to go. 90 days without just messing with my hair, my natural hair. I just want to do protective styles and, and let it see how much it can grow within 90 days. My birthday is December 1st, so I guess I'll do some kind of reveal to see how much new growth I have uh, about my birthday and see what else, you know, what I can do with my hair. Do some different styles, uh, natural hairstyles for a longer length because I know it's going to grow. <laughs> I hope it grow. Uh, right now, my hair is not as thick as this wig, but just a little bit shorter. So, uh, mine is a little thinner as well. It looks thick, but it's not really all that thick. But uh, I have that. I have some makeup tutorials. Oh, this phone slipping out of my hand, you guys. Okay, I have this tutorial, makeup tutorial. Uh, Different health care, not health care, natural hair care tips, different weave uh, videos, uh, braiding videos, uh, makeup foundation, my foundation routine, my highlight and contour routine, uh, back to school makeup looks. Uh, I may just do that on my teens instead of doing it on myself because God knows I'm not going back. Well, I'm in school, but. Anyway, professional makeup looks, natural updo styles. Uh, uh, what else am I going to do? I've already done some of these. I want to do a DIY. I've never braided my own hair, so I'm going to try to either do myself those full locks or uh, try to do those big uh, j jumbo, I think they're Havana braids or whatever. I'm going to try to do one of those two on myself. And just, you know, things, as I learned it in school, I just want to share products that, you know, that's good for natural hair, different uh, botanicals that's good for natural hair, oils, herbs, whatever I learn. I want to, uh, you know, I want to share it. Um, take you guys along does this beauty school, natural hair, and weaving beauty school journey right along with me. And one more thing. I'm fat, y'all. And I'm tired of being fat. I'm going on a, uh, I'm not going to say a diet. I'm trying to do this lifestyle kind of change. Um, start, uh, go back to juicing. Fresh fruits, vegetables, kale, spinach, whatever, whatever I can find. But I know I'm going to have to incorporate kale and probably some of that uh, bitter melon. Because bitter melon is known to help detox your liver. To try to fight uh, diabetes. Uh, I don't have diabetes, but I have a family history that's like crazy. My father passed away from diabetes complications. His mother, all just about all of my grandmother's siblings, all of my father's siblings, all his first cousins. I mean, diabetes is in my family. It's, it's not just a lifestyle issue in my family. It's genetic. So, the fact that I'm fat... I've gained all this weight, and the fact that it's genetic, I have to take action and do something. And I know I got a video where I worked out and was doing, uh, was it hip hop apps? I tried to do that one day, but I'm going to keep with this. I, I have to, I have a 20 month old baby that I have to do this for because I have to see her march across the stage, graduate high school, college, and all this other stuff. And at the rate I'm going, mm, I ain't going to happen. And not the hospital because of my blood pressure swelling and all this other kind of stuff. It's not cute. 
And it's okay to be BBW, but it's not cute to be unhealthy. So, I've been doing the uh, apple cider vinegar, not distilled water, uh, alkaline water with the cayenne pepper, cinnamon, lemon juice. I've been doing that, and it's kind of working. My stomach, my, my belly is, you can see it's shrinking a little bit, but I need some more. I need to shrink a little more. Then my, uh, I need to learn how to relax. So I went to the library and I got this. Yoga zone for beginners. So I'm going to try yoga, see if that will help me relax, kind of, you know, be stressed. And I got this. Fabulously Fit Moms. And I'm going to use that in com an, uh, combination with my uh, hip-hop abs. And then I'm going to go run to my sister and grab those uh, Billy Blank Tybo uh Tybo or whatever, if, if he still call it Tybo, but anyway, uh, some CDs, some DVDs for that. So, my goal is to drink more water, because I don't, I'm going to say 8 to 10 glasses of water, I may drink uh, half a teaspoon. Because I mean, since I'm, I'm married to a Jamaican now, so I've been drinking tea like crazy. I went from soda to tea, and my tea is so super sweet, so might as well drink the soda. Uh... So I have to drink more water, eat more fruits and vegetables, try to, oh Jesus, how about cut back on rice. I'm from New Orleans, y'all. We eat rice with everything, even sometimes breakfast, we eat rice. So how in the world am I going to get rid of rice? I'm going to have to find a, some kind of substitute or find a way to just cut it down just a little bit and maybe just eat it for dinner. Uh, meat. Jesus, I've already given, I've already gotten rid of pork, so no more Louisiana boudin, no more hog head cheese, Jesus, no more fried pork chop sandwiches, I have been off of pork for about a year, and I still crave it, people say, oh, after a few months, you no, she's lying, I crave pork, um, uh, Try to cut back on my beef, because when I get rid of pork, I start eating spaghetti every other day and hamburgers and stuff like that. So I gotta cut back on the beef and try to stick to chicken and fish for the most part. Um, and then some days, just because my husband, the way he cooks, uh, he makes mustard greens and collard greens to try to make like this Jamaican. Well, not try to make it. I mean. This Kalaloo stuff that they eat in Jamaica, but he used the uh, mustard greens and collard greens and chop them up real small, put carrots and tomatoes and onions and all this other stuff in it. And it is so good, and we eat it over rice, but we don't put he don't put meat in it, and it's actually good. So I have to try to incorporate more and more vegetables without adding meat, because I am from New Orleans. We eat pig, pickled pigtails, pickled pigtails, and everything. Cabbage, our greens, we have pork in everything. Pork is the backbone of our dishes. But I have some cabbage cooking right now. I'm itching. I have some cabbage cooking right now, and I just it's just uh, cabbage shredded up really, really fine. So, see, I gotta recurl this. Anyway, cabbage curled up really, really fine. Not curled up, sliced really fine. With some shredded up, not carrots, cabbage uh, sliced real fine. I shredded some carrots, got onions, scallion, what else? Onion scallions, some fresh garlic, and some Jamaican pimento. I put in there. Okay. And I'm cooking that tonight, and we're gonna do some oven baked jerk. That's all in the oven right now, waiting for my husband and kids to get home from school and work. And. Uh, that's about it so that's basically what's going on with me I'll keep you guys updated I'll probably do a weekly on my weight loss to see if I'm still on it if I fell off you know try to keep myself accountable because if I put it on here hopefully I'll follow through uh but I have no choice but to follow through I have to do some weight y'all I told you how much I weighed you guys would be like you need to get on that TV show where they put them fat people on the scale and make them lose weight and run up the mountains and hills and all this other food. Not foolishness, but all this other stuff. 
I have too much pride, so I ain't gonna tell you how much I weigh. Let's just say I'm almost double what I was. Not double, maybe closer from when I got pregnant. Uh, but like I said, the apple cider, ten, apple cider vinegar detox uh, thing, it is shrinking my belly down some. And I can't blame the baby. I cannot. Because I lost so much weight when I was pregnant. I was like so super sexy when I was pregnant. I was like the sexiest pregnant woman you would ever see. But uh, I let myself go. I'm going to find myself. I'm going to get it. Right now I got two or three of myself. So I'm going back to one self real quick. But anyway, I'm going to do like over 10 minutes of rambling. But that's basically what I'm going to do. Basically what I'm doing. I'm, uh, weight loss, drinking more water, editing all these videos so I can have them posted. I'm just trying to, I still have internet so I'm going to go to the library and upload and schedule schedule posts. So that way, by the time my internet come on, you guys are still getting those Monday, every Monday and every Thursday uh, uploads. So today is my uh, Monday upload. Thursday will be the making of this wig. And I might do another one for Saturday. Uh, make up, uh, get ready with me. I, I videoed it going to work. Y'all, my job. I know I have a bachelor's in biology and a semester away from a master's in environmental psychology, but I took a job at NRG Center doing security, y'all, so I get to see all the Texas football games free. Pissed me off that they beat my Saints, but that's okay. I can see all the games for free. I can work anywhere in there, but I chose the executive clubs and suites where I just basically open doors. I'm getting paid to open doors for people who pay really good money for seats in these little club boxes or whatever. So I just open the door for them and close it just in case they have security just in case something happens. But the thing about it, it's not like regular security. You got security for a job where if somebody do something, you got to really go and chase. No, all you got to do is say, hey, police. He went that way. That's all we got to do. But... You know, in a full minute there, I was like, we didn't have too much education to be doing this. Then I thought about it. Ha, it's some high sedated people out there in this world selling everything to keep the, to uh, survive from hair to ass. S using my body to secure and open doors for somebody. Why the hell am I ashamed? Anyway, I have dreams and goals and I'm working toward it. And this little security job is going to pay me until I get to where I want to be in life. But anyway, you guys, stay blessed. Stay, stay, stay blessed. Stay positive. Help me out, y'all, through this weight loss journey. If you, if I, if y'all see that I'm not posted about losing weight, that means I fell off. Encourage me to get back on it. Lose this weight. Uh, if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do so. Please subscribe, share it with your friends. You will not be disappointed. I have a lot planned, and now I have a lot of time because I'm only working Saturdays and may some Sundays working football games or whenever the team have a game. So I'm just doing little odd stuff. So, and I subst I still substitute for the school district, but I do that when I want to. So I have more time on my hand, and I can post. And I am loving, loving, loving this crochet wig. Y'all just don't know this bad boy. It's just giving me life. And it's so lightweight. It's not heavy like some wigs you put on and you can feel it. This bad boy is so light. One of my friends from, I've been knowing her long before she, she and I ended up in beauty school together. But she makes them in her uh, salon. And she calls them integration wigs. Because they're not those heavy so I got to come up with a name for mine that I make. Because I make them and sell them to people. But anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm going to let you guys go. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Uh, share my channel. If you have a channel that you want me to uh, check out and like, trust me, I'll do it. I'll subscribe. I'll watch your videos. I will share them on my platforms. I have followers on uh 
Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'll share your stuff. Please do the same for me. Uh, if you want to drop your uh, social media tags down below, drop them. And I'll subscribe to every last single one of them. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at BlackCajun underscore beauty. That's B-L-A-K. C-A-J-U-N underscore B-E-A-U-T-Y. You can follow me on Facebook, Black Cajun. Uh, Periscope, Black Cajun Beauty. Twitter, Black Cajun Beauty. And that's Snapchat, Black Cajun. Or Black Cajun Beauty, something like that. If you just type Black Cajun the way I spell it without the C in black. B-L-A-K-C-A-J-U-N. Then you'll find me. Peace and love.